I'm Ben Cosgrove, I'm a Senior Project Coordinator at Armour RC, and this is the Craton 8S. The Craton 8S comes with AVC. I'd like to show you how this works. So we turn on the transmitter, and then we turn on the speed control, wait for the startup procedure, now out of the box this is the AVC setting, this is set to 50% which is the best all round compromise for driving. For control and general fun. So if you want to increase the assistance of AVC, turn the dial clockwise to around 11 and then this is the effect. So now the servo is going a lot quicker, it's reacting more with the input of the vehicle. Alternatively, if you take the dial um, anti-clockwise all the way around to one o'clock this removes AVC and this is the effect so there is no control from the AVC and this is a very easy simple tuning option that you have whilst you're driving your vehicle um, you can have more control less control it's completely up to you the Craton 8S comes with the Spectrum Firma 160 amp 8S ESC. Now there are a few options that you can do to change the feel of the speed control. So I just want to talk you through those. But first, I want to show you how to go into the setting modes. First of all, you have to turn the transmitter on. Then you have to turn the ESC on on the switch. Once ESC has um, started up, then you can press the set button for one second. One. Then the green light will flash. To enter the variable that you require, you then press the set button the amount of times to correlate to the variable. So I will go to variable number two, which is the motor direction. So I press one. Two. So now there are two green flashes that indicates you're in variable two. So now you hold the set button for three seconds. One, two, three. Now the red light is flashing. This indicates the value that you are in within the variable. So for example here we have two beeps which means that the motor is in which means that the motor is in clockwise direction if you want to change to counterclockwise you would press the set button one time which would take you to setting one which is counterclockwise likewise to go back press one more time then you have the two red beeps and then to save the setting you have to turn the ESC off Every time you want to change a setting, you need to go back into the same programming sequence and every variable that you change, you then need to turn the speed control off and go back in to change something else. You can customize the ESC setting based on the driving field that you require. In the instruction manual, you have a table of settings for the ESC. So you can customize the driving field based on what you require. There are two different types of settings on the speed control. There are functional settings and performance settings. So let me explain those to you. Functional settings are motor direction, LiPo cutoff voltage, Beck voltage, and forward brake reverse or forward and brake. These are settings which we don't advise that you change. Um, the motor direction does not need to be changed for this vehicle. The Beck voltage 
Now this can be adjusted and we have six volts as standard, 8.4 volts as an option. Uh, they're your two settings. The servo will work with 8.4 volts. However, it will increase the speed and increase the torque but we don't recommend that you run it in that setting for a long time. Um, you need to keep an eye on that. Um, the server will handle 8.4, but please be wary that lifetime will be reduced running at the higher BEC voltage. So we recommend six volts. The LiPo battery protection cutoffs. We have three options. One is low, one is middle, and one is high. We're defaulted at high, and that is to protect your batteries. So if you have older batteries or slightly um, worn out batteries, then the high LiPo protection cutoff will protect your battery and not drain it too low. Um, again, you can change this if you have really good batteries or you want to get that extra few seconds or maybe a minute of runtime but again, it will hurt your battery long-term. So we recommend you stay at high. For the performance side of the ESC, this is where you can adjust the brake strength, the reverse strength, the initial punch, and also the motor timing. The brake strength is preset to 25%, which is one of the lowest values on there. And we feel that this is a nice, safe, and um, controlled braking. and um, works on a variety of surfaces, um, we recommend you go out there and drive the vehicle and see, um, don't go too crazy straight away, just get a feel for the brakes. If you want to increase them, it's variable number five, um, so you can scroll through the program and increase them. We go from 25% up to 100% in um, increments, so you can fine tune that as much as you want. The reverse speed, um, again, we are set at 25%, which is the lowest speed. Um, we don't really feel like going fast in reverse is that necessary. Um, so this is the safest reverse speed. Again, if you want to go faster in reverse, then you can adjust this. The initial punch setting, there are five settings. We are set at level three in the middle. So you can go to level four or level five, which will give you more initial punch and acceleration. Or you can go to level two or level one, which will smooth out the punch. Now in some circumstances, level one may increase the acceleration of the vehicle depending on the surface you're running. So it doesn't always mean that level five will be the most acceleration that you will have. It will be surface dependent and where your favorite bash spots are. Um, likewise with the motor timing, um, as default is zero and it goes up to 15 degrees. The higher you run your motor timing, the faster the car will be in top speed. It won't affect punch, but it will affect the overall top speed. Now with the punch and the motor timing, we've set it where it's safe and consistent and it will handle pretty much anything you throw at it. So if you do adjust it, please keep an eye on the temperatures, get used to it, don't just go for a full battery, full bore all the way, because you may have problems. So just keep that in mind, um, but everything is tunable for however you want to drive it. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to learn more about the Craton 8S, then check out the links in the description box below. See you next time. RC. Designed fast, designed tough.